Uh, welcome to the OpenStack MiniConf. I'm Robert, this is Josh, and we're very happy to have organized this. Um, we've got some operational problems. Where is my mouse? There it goes. Right, uh, so this is a Python AU MiniConf, which I hope everyone here knows. This is largely for the internet when this goes online. Um, <coughs> The URL there is going to be important because there's a whole bunch of stuff as a mini conf that we just depend on the main conf to give us. So, PyCon AU, uh, sorry, 2015.pycon-au.org. Um, this is the OpenStack mini conf. If you're interested in Django or education or whatever, you're probably in the wrong room. Um, I don't know which rooms they are, but the folk out in the foyer would be able to help you. I want to thank our sponsors. So, this mini conf is sponsored by the OpenStack Foundation. And that's kind of cool. And lunch times are sponsored by, sorry, not lunch times, tea time and afternoon tea is sponsored by HP uh, today and other sponsors on the other days, but the main conference will be doing their things for that. Uh, there is a code of conduct for this conference. If you are a speaker or just an, a delegate, please have a look at that. It's important that we help our community grow and the codes of conduct have been sort of granting quite a bit of traction over the last number of years as a, a good, solid and straightforward way to do that. Um, morning tea. They're in the Connaught and King George rooms. If there are sessions running, we don't. if other rooms are running late and you don't want to overlap them, you can go down to the foyer, go to the other lifts and then back up again and you can get to them. Um, if the other sessions have finished, you can cut through the Kennedy and Roosevelt rooms to get to the morning tea area. Uh, I'd give you a map, but I have no idea which way around the building is, let alone anything else, so it wouldn't be very helpful. But there are maps in the foyer. And in the program, apparently. Oh, someone who's had time to look at the program, yay. Uh, lightning talks. We have lightning talks at the end of the day, and to have a whole bunch of good lightning talks depends on you guys to put them together. like. Three, four minutes long tops. We haven't set an exact length, which will be dependent on the number of talks we get. Tweet Tony Breeds and say that you want to do a lightning talk, and by the end of the day, give him a PDF or a URL or wherever your slides are, and we'll plug his laptop in and do it. Tony, can stand, you stand, stand up? up Tony, so Turn around. That's Tony. He, he'll do our lightning talks, and we'll help coordinate it. Things to him. We will get you a sharp stick. Uh, for extra credit, if a talk is boring you, the LCA CFP has not yet closed. You can put your presentations in until Sunday night. Do people know what lightning talks are? Do people know what lightning talks are? No one knows what lightning talks are. Wow, we probably should explain that. Yeah, I think we should explain it. So, that no, that thunder talk is a very different sort of thing. <laughs> So a lightning talk is a very short talk about a topic. It's just enough content to say what's going on without diving super deep. Or some people speak very, very, very fast. <laughs> they are f fun and they're a great way to get into talking if you're, if you're not comfortable standing up and giving a half hour talk, but you know something cool about, I don't know. A new project you're working on, <coughs> something you've seen. A bug you fixed, a bug that you want someone else to fix and why it's important. Um, the latest cool project someone else released and you want to share knowledge about it. Anything. Just three, three to five minutes up on stage and you get kicked off. Yep. Um, you don't even have to do slides. We often see people just stand up and say X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D, E, F and hop off again. So very low key. <laughs> Tweet Tony Breeds <laughs> and you'll be fine. Uh, if it's a, you know, a functional Python program as well, that would be great. 